Hi, it's Wednesday, May 9th of 2018. And this is Shram State Park along Nebraska Route 31 and on the north bank of Platte River in Sarpy County, Nebraska. Starting by walking along a short path to the riverbank where they recently put in a crossing over the swamp. And my first video here at this park was just over a year ago under the title Changes Over the Years. And even my most recent video from this park was 11 months ago. That one was called X-Ray the Heart from Sham State Park altogether. It's my first one taking this path to the riverbank. And the topic for today's video, Image of God. Starting out in John chapter 1 with verse 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. And we can see where a beaver has been working on this tree and picking up in verse 10. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Platte River State Park, which is across the river and downstream about two to three miles. As you recall, some of my videos come from that park. I also have a few from Mahoney State Park, which is across the river and upstream. Picking up in John chapter 1 verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, this was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. And taking a look at John 4, verse 24, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him, in spirit and in truth. And now for crossing Route 31 to the main part of Shram State Park. As we look at Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, 
and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And in Colossians chapter 1, starting in verse 9, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will, in all wisdom, and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. And taking a brief pause, this was a fish hatchery dating back to 1882, and when it was no longer useful as a fish hatchery, in 1974 was converted to Shram State Park. And for many years, these grounds have been popular for picnics and family spending time together, as this is a day-use park, but wasn't really designed for camping. And picking up in verse 12, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us to meet, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, or principalities, or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And as we look at Colossians 3, verses 12 through 17, Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all things, Put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body. And be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. And getting ready to go up some steps to the top of the little ridge. And you can see that's where we just came from. As we reflect back on what we just looked at in Colossians 1 and 3, as we realize that God is the source of all wisdom and knowledge. And as we were created in the image of God, 
He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to be that perfect example for us as He gave Himself for us. He died and rose again so that we could be saved as we repent and choose to believe on Him. And by the way, for those who think Nebraska is just flat, this is a pretty steep little hill as this area is known for bluffs or hillsides along the river valleys, such as Platte River for an example. So a lot of families get to enjoy family time up here picnicking on the weekends, hiking, and taking a quick look. We started out here on the riverbank and now where the star is going to walk this path on the eastern side of Shram State Park. Moving along to 1 Corinthians 3, starting in verse 16. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, The Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. And this isn't referring to those who are wise in their walk with the Lord. Like the example that you see with the five wise and the five foolish virgins, in Matthew 25, but this means those who are worldly wise, those who lack the wisdom, the spiritual wisdom that comes from God, as He gives true wisdom, which to the world doesn't seem like wisdom. But God calls for us to be a peculiar people by choosing to follow Jesus Christ in our daily walk. And many times that lifestyle is not an easy path to follow. And picking up in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God? And ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So 1 Corinthians 3 and 6 remind us that we're not really our own. Even though he gives us free will, remember no one can serve two masters. You'll hate one. And love the other and we're bought with a price as he gave his only begotten son Jesus Christ on Calvary so that those who repent and ask for salvation and follow him can avoid eternal damnation and instead have everlasting life with Jesus Christ Now taking a look at 2 Corinthians 3. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face beholding, as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image, from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And turning to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting in verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have reconciled the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation 
of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And even though the sign says go to the right to get to the suspension bridge, you can really get to it about the same time either way. But we'll go to the right. As we reflect back on those um, verses from 2 Corinthians chapters 3 and 4, and we know that we're not saved by works, but as we sincerely choose to be more like Jesus, to pick up our cross and follow him in our daily walk, even though we're not perfect, as we choose to be more like him in our thoughts and actions, we're to be an example and witness to the world and our love for Jesus Christ. Taking a look at Ephesians 2, starting in verse 1. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin, wherein time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace you are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Turning to Ephesians 4, verses 21 through 27. If so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt, according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness, while putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be ye angry, 
and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Turning to James chapter 3, starting in verse 8. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith, bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter can the fig tree my brethren bear olive berries either a vine figs so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. So as we're created in the image of God, as we put away the old worldly habits, the ways of the flesh, and we choose to follow Jesus Christ in the spirit it's like we become a new creature in the image of god looking at philippians 3 and verses 20 and 21 for our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the savior the lord jesus christ who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. And looking in Hebrews 1, verses 3 and 4. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the power of the word, by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. In 1 John 2, verses 15 through 17, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. So even as we're in this world, we're to let that light of Jesus Christ shine through us by not partaking in worldly sinfulness, as we're not to be focused on materialism, the ways of the world, and we're not to base our life in decisions on what's popular in the sight of man, but rather what would be in God's will for us to do as we read the Bible and pray, seeking to be more like him. And looking at 1 John 3, verses 1 through 5, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. 
Beloved now, are we the sons of God? And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. And this was the suspension bridge that we were looking for. But still yet, let's continue to live for God as we choose that narrow path and to trust in Him as He has made us in the image of God. God bless you as we reach out to each other as brothers and sisters in Christ, encouraging each other in our walk with the Lord.